Hey guys, so today what I'm gonna share with you is um, the general attitude that I'm getting from buyers and homeowners with regards to the 2019 real estate market. But first, here's a quick look back at 2016, 2017, 2018, and a bit of a forecast for 2019. Government interventions and rate increases will continue to affect the stability of our 2019 real estate market. Our local market in Vancouver has basically gone from hyperactive to a more normal market. However, the prices of homes are regarded as being high still compared to the pre-2016 market. There are many reasons for why our property prices have gone up so drastically. And one of the more uh, talked about reasons is the increase in interest from foreign buyers with US citizens included. And then there is the land use restriction that limits the supply of new homes being built. Not to mention, we have lengthy rezoning processing times which um, could span anywhere from 14 months to 24 months. That is a serious problem because it slows down the uh, new supply from coming out. Also, take into consideration the inflation of labor cost and material cost. Last but not least, we have an increased number of new projects being sold. And what happens is there's not enough skilled laborers to work on those projects. Okay, let's talk about the general attitude of buyers in this current market. What are they thinking about? What are they doing right now? End user buyers are more active than ever. And this is just uh, based on my personal experience from interacting with buyers recently. Um, they tell me that they have less anxiety when it comes to placing offers on properties that they really like. Because it's a buyer's market, buyers often come out of negotiations quite successful and happy. I'm referring to the fact that they no longer need to compete and they now stand a high chance of actually purchasing something. And guess what? Right now, if buyers are faced with a competitive offer situation, they would much rather walk away from it. There's just so much supply on the market. They can now make better choices without feeling the pressure of having to beat out the other buyers. I'm currently working with buyers who were either renters or living at home for the past few years. Um, they are now finally ready to give home buying a shot. And because they were waiting, they ended up saving more money to put towards their deposit. Quick flips are a thing of the past. Investor purchasers are more conservative. That is music to many end user buyers ears. I really want to help them find what they've always wanted. I want to help them plant their roots and become proud homeowners. All right, I've talked about the general attitude of home buyers in this market. Now let's move on to homeowners who actually have been thinking of selling. What do they think? So just thinking back to the homeowners I've spoken to um, in a complex of over 100 units, um, this is the feedback that I got from uh, these homeowners who told me that they have been thinking of selling or may be thinking of selling down the road. First type of homeowner, um, this is the type that bought pre-2016. I'm talking about maybe uh, 5, 8, 10, 15 years ago. So their response to this current market is, wait, seriously? That's what I could sell for? That's a lot of money. That's almost like, that's more than double what I paid. So the second type of homeowner, um, they actually had just bought um, 
in 2016-2017 um, when I had mentioned what the last place in the complex had sold for. Um, this is their reaction to me. That's it. My place hasn't even gone up. It's not a lot of money. I won't make a profit if I sell. I thought about selling. I want to sell, but I'm not gonna sell. I'd rather just wait. Maybe I'll rent it out. Who knows, maybe in five years, the prices will go back up. And then there's the type of homeowners who um, are quite neutral about the current market conditions. And this is their reaction to me. So what? If I have to sell, I have to sell. Regardless if I make a profit or not. I mean, I can take a little bit of loss as long as I'm not losing a lot of money. If I'm gonna move, I have to move. So what? It may be puzzling as to why some homeowners would even want to sell when the tides have turned. Just keep in mind, every homeowner have their reasons for selling. But just let me add one thing. Um, so if you are a motivated seller, it is a good idea to work with a realtor because um, a realtor's job is to help mitigate money loss. And if you are going to lose any, um, our job is to help you minimize the amount of loss. So definitely call up your realtor and have a chat with him or her. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my uh, brief moments of acting. See you next time.